It was the year 1819, and the chants of Viva Colombia Libre echoed across the Andean region. The Colombian War of Independence was in full swing, and the patriots were ready to take their land back from the claws of the Spanish Empire. Among the numerous battles that marked this war stood the Battle of Boyaca, a turning point that would determine the fate of the region. The two opposing forces were vast and varied, the Spanish royalists with their well-trained army constituting of 2,000 men, a group of trusted lancers from their elite army of the Viceroyalty of Peru, two battalions of infantry with four pieces of artillery, all securely entrenched in a mountain pass that led to Bogota. On the other side stood the patriotic forces of Colombia with their formidable array of combatants, comprising of several factions linked through a common cause. The force was led by the renowned strategist Simón Bolívar and his able lieutenant in arms, José Antonio Anzategui. The patriots formed a multinational force, Venezuelans, Colombians, and Germans amongst its most prominent demography. The day of battle arrived with an ominous feel. The Spanish entrenched themselves and expected a frontal charge towards their fortifications. They had fortified their position on the hill, with artillery surrounding it from all sides, thinking that the patriots would launch a direct assault. But little did they know what the Patriots had in store for them. Bolivar undertook an extremely risky and strategic plan of flanking the Spanish position. By using the Piedras Negras path, Bolivar would emerge from behind the Spaniards, cutting off their escape route and cornering them. The humid morning air was dense with anticipation as the Patriots cautiously made their way through. The undergrowth, Slowly moving towards their unsuspecting targets, Anzategui led a group of elite troops to take out the artillery positioned on raised ground, while Bolivar led a team of fighters to ambush the Spanish forces on the road. And then it began. The deafening clap of gunfire and cannon fire broke the silence of the morning. The Spanish were caught off guard, and disorder engulfed their ranks. Bolivar's troops charged forward brandishing their bayonets and sabers. They yelled fierce war cries of freedom or death, liberty or slavery, to spur their men towards victory. The Spanish valiantly held their position, but the patriots were relentless. Men fell to the ground, each taking bullets and bayonets. As the battle raged on, the bottle's intensity was palpable, with the sound of metal clashing against metal and bodies hitting the ground. Anzategui's elite group had managed to cut off the Spanish artillery, and the explosions rippled throughout the battlefield, adding to the chaos. Bolivar's men had managed to isolate the Spanish forces by cutting off their escape route, and ultimately the Spaniards surrendered. The Patriots had achieved victory, and Colombia was free. The sun set on the battlefield, leaving in its wake hundreds of dead bodies many on the losing side, but the victory at Boyaca was a crucial turning point in the war, setting the stage for the liberation of a nation and marking the moment of rebirth for all those who called it home. The glory of that day still echoes across these valleys, in the beauty of the Colombian sky and the resilience of its people, a testament to the bravery and sacrifice of those who fought for freedom. Who dared to dream of a better tomorrow? The Battle of Boyaca remains a symbol of hope, a reminder that in the darkest hour, there is always a light at the end of the tunnel.